here at Sherwood Forest Fair certainly miss you, but we've got great news. The fair starts very soon, just a little bit late. Uh, we'll be opening our eight weekend festival on the first weekend of April for the show must go on. Yes, our Daleks, I'm so excited about this year's fair, but we have business from last year to take care of. Oh, yes, indeed we do. Last year, for all of you, was 2020. Oh! And here in the Middle Ages, it was 1199, which wasn't much better, let me assure you. At any rate, in 2021, Sherwood has decided to turn back our calendars and start the whole story over from the beginning. This year will be the amazing year of 1189, when King Richard was Duke Richard, and Robin Hood was waylaying travelers in the forest and meeting Autolicus, incredible Autolicus, Autolicus. guys like little John. Yes, yes. No, but we still have oh. last year's business to take care of. Right you are, Alice. All this time travel has me ahead of myself. You're talking about the 2020 rescue rally, aren't you? The, the one that never happened. Oh, but it shall happen. Quite a lot of generous patrons and fair participants donated priceless treasures for us to auction off for the noble causes of the Rescue Foundation. Nor I, nor the good people of Sherwood shall see these deeds go to waste. Never fear, Maid Alice. I was doing some fooling for Queen Eleanor earlier when several Rescue Foundation ambassadors arrived on horseback and they invited us to hold our rescue event and our auctions online. Online? That's right, something about a line and a net and a web. Anyhow, Queen Eleanor has decreed that Sherwood Forest Fair shall bring the auction to the people. That's right, right into your very homes. And, well, whatever she says goes, so the rescue people vowed that they could make it happen. Why, the first opportunity to please the Queen is going to be this very weekend. Yes, that's right, a sealed bid auction for three pieces of priceless treasure from her very own treasury. Bidders can email rescue champion at rescuefoundation.org with the item or items that they're bidding on and the highest bid for each item. The sealed bid auction ends this Sunday at midnight. That's Eastern time, so for you local Sherwoodians, that's 11. Make sure you note that in your calendar. The winner will be noted via email. The Queen went on to command that the festive it is should extend unto next weekend as well. Therefore, Rescue has arranged that next weekend's Friday Five will be five fabulous items donated specifically from Showa donors. That auction occurs every Friday beginning at noon Eastern, so that's 11 for Sherwoodians near Sherwood, in the Fundraising Four Rescue Facebook group. Make sure that's Fundraising Four, the number four, Rescue without an E, Facebook group. But... What shall happen to all of the other donated items from the 2020 Sherwood Rescue Rally? We must make sure that every single one is auctioned off to bring aid to the festival community and health to the company. Put your mind at ease, Lady Alice. While I was juggling and singing, Queen Eleanor was working all of that out with the rescue ambassadors. Every donated item from 2020 shall be auctioned throughout the coming months on Rescue's regularly scheduled Friday Five auction. Hurrah! We will have our rescue event after all. Let's rally some more help, like Maid Marian. Oh, and Robin Hood. Oh, yes, and that handsome musician uh, that you seem to fancy lately. Alan Adele. Yes, indeed. Yes, be sure to invite him. I shall. Oh, look, that's Queen Eleanor. There she is, Eleanor herself. Queen Eleanor, will you please do a speech for rescue for us? Welcome to Sherwood Forest Fair. We want to invite you to our 2020 rescue event. Sherwood Forest Fair is a medieval festival set in the time of Robin Hood. We are a vibrant community of artists and patrons, but alas, our fair ended early last year. The worst part was, we could not hold our rescue rally. But this weekend, we intend to rectify this situation and we hereby decree that Sherwood Forest Fair donate something from year one, a true collectible. The Rescue Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the health and medical well-being of participants of historically themed events, including Renaissance festivals and other interactive theatrical venues. Rescue provides preventive illness, education, medical advocacy, and bill abatement to characteristically underinsured constituency. Participants of these events keep skills and art forms alive that would otherwise disappear from our modern society. By doing so, they educate our youth about important periods of history, inspiring the next generation to broaden their knowledge about the world at large. 
Providing the unique and important form of interactive theater nationwide, these entertainers, artisans, and festival staff positively impact the economy in cities across the country dependent upon the annual influx of income. As these events generally take place over the course of multiple weekends, revenue is also generated by thousands of guests who travel from other areas and invest widely in the host city. The acronym RESCUE, R-E-S-C-U, stands for Renaissance Entertainers Services Crafters United. It was founded in 2003 by a group of dedicated individuals united in their commitments to provide resources for dealing with the, the medical needs of their community. A single medical emergency can cause catastrophic outcomes to those whose primary income is dependent upon the ability to travel from one venue to another. Before rescue, an isolated incident had the potential to cause a family to require public assistance affecting the community at large. To date, the dozens of dedicated volunteers and small staff of Rescue have served thousands of individuals. Rescue has dispersed over $1.4 million in direct medical aid. Its advocacy and mentoring programs have enabled well over $3.5 million in medical bill abatement, thereby empowering and ensuring that a multitude of talented people remain productive members of society. Yeah, Blitzer. <laughs> do you know why fairies hide under toadstools? Why do they hide under toadstools? Because there isn't much room. <laughs> <laughs> my, I do love my life here at Sherwood Forest Fair. I'm drinking my beer, selling my wares, and watching the townspeople go about their day. <sighs> Good day, sir. Tis I, Robin Hood, and Queen Eleanor said that we need a special object for the sealed bid auction. So what are you doing? Uh, well, I was sitting here and Yes, my yes, bit. yes, but it is now time for you to fulfill your destiny, get off your butt, and let's go find this item for the sealed bid auction that Queen Eleanor said we must get. But... But, but, get off your butt and let's go! Well, yes, let me finish my drink first. Now we can go! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! You can't go dressed like that! Where is my wine? Toulouse! Hello, Marion! Oh, Lady Alice, such a pleasure to see. What have you got there? I brought gifts! Gifts? Oh my, have you brought wine? I brought wine! Yes, I shall take some. Question, Lady Alice, where did you get this wine? So, I, I hear you have a crush on a, a lad. <gasps> ah, but before we get to the boys, a cheer, and so we can actually talk, <laughs> I shall tell you whom I have a crush on. Now, you may have seen him running about the woods. He's usually in a hood. Want to know what I like best about him? What? His eyes. Oh, they're just... They match the forest trees. Now, Lady Alice, you've got to tit for tat. Who have you got a crush on? Oh, you know, he roams around the woods playing, um, what is it called? A lute? Oh, yes, the lute. I've seen him before. Wait, would you be speaking of Alan Adele? I am. Oh, I knew it now. Tell me, Lady Alice, what is your favorite thing about Alan Adale? I like his shoes. They have little curdles on them. I have noticed his shoes. They are quite brilliant. Now then, I shall cheer to that and the men we have across. I still want to know where you got this wine. Um, Toulouse? Toulouse. I knew it was Toulouse. So cheers for Toulouse to the wine. And cheers to us for having crushes. <laughs> Uh, do you know how to capture a unique unicorn? No, how do you capture a unique unicorn? You make up on it! <laughs> <laughs> this way, Robin! <laughs> I think I got it! I think I got it! Oh! That you didn't get it! Oh. Wait! 
Gates, where did you go? Where did you go? There you are. This place is nothing but turns and twists and walls. <laughs> this way. Let's go. Oh, again? This way, this way. Remember, it's a special item. Well, there's no special item here. There's only another wall. Has to be this way. Oh, oops. Sorry. Oh, what is it? No, 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 no. Come on. I can almost reach it. Okay. Very well, man. You go that way. I'll go that way. And we'll meet up at the bell. Got it.
It's in perfect condition, Robin Hood, and it's priceless. Yes, and it could be yours. The seal bid auction begins now. So send your email in with the description of the item and your highest bid. The auction ends Sunday at midnight. So email. Oh, what's the email address? Rescue Champion at RescueFoundation.org. That's right, Rescue Champion at RescueFoundation.org. And don't forget to leave off the E on Rescue. It's R-E-S-C-U. Hey, Blitzer! Yeah, Autologous? How did the goblin manage to get through school with straight A's? Hmm, I do not know how. She was an ogre achiever. <laughs> Good boy. There yeah, yeah. ah, ah. Wonderful. Okay. Ah, oh, Maid Marian, it's so lovely to be back at Nottingham Castle. Indeed, cousin. I do, Richard. But, Richard, what would your father, King Henry, think of you arriving here at the same time with the King of France? Who cares what my father thinks? Everyone knows my mother, Eleanor of Aquitaine, is running the country. <laughs> and so she's one of my vassals. I will drink to this. Yes. Drink? Oh, you've got my attention. Let's go do that now. We're here at the Village Healer, practicing proper social distancing by standing six feet apart. Because Rescue Foundation is dedicated to the health and well-being of the festival community, Autolycus and I thought it would be a good idea to let you know some of the safety protocols Sherwood Forest Fair will have in place during the fair season, especially to prevent the transmission of COVID-19. First and foremost, we shall be requiring all patrons and participants to follow our masking and social distancing policy, uh, which states that regardless of whether one has taken the COVID vaccine, everyone shall be wearing, uh, required to wear a mask that covers the mouth and nose whenever you're moving about. And, that's and not all, but and when you are unable to social distance. Luckily, Robin Hood has made mask wearing very popular with his infamous banditry. So Robin Hood fans like myself have no problem wearing a mask. My only trouble is it gets a little awkward when I'm trying to eat or drink. Well, Autolycus, the Sherwood masking policy states that you must wear your mask while moving about and when you're unable to social distance. So if you stand just a little further off, then you can take off your mask and eat and drink so long as you're standing or sitting in one spot. Oh, brilliant! Now I can enjoy my food and drink whilst staying within my own personal space bubble. That's right! As long as you stay where you are, you aren't breaking the rules. Oh, thank you very much, Lady Allen. But of course, Autolycus. Wait, that's my mask? How am I supposed to... Oh, what a trickster! Now I can't go anywhere without breaking the rules! I guess I'll just have to stay in this one spot until she decides the joke is over. That's been quite good. Mm. Alice! Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't just stay here all day. I've got things I've got to do, you know? Hmm. Well, maybe, maybe while nobody's looking.
Hey, Gabble Go! Yes! Did you hear that the merry band robbed a music store last night? They did? Yes, we made off with the loot. <laughs> <laughs> send secret messages. With Norse code! <laughs> <laughs> for this. Ooh. This what? is a oh. portrait of none other than Robin Hood and Maid Marian. Oh. 
right Ooh. there. But I remember not taking this portrait. Nor do I. That's because this, it was you and Marion in a completely different lifetime. Oh. Ah. Yes, back in the first time it was 1189. Now we're going to have it 1189 again this coming year because last year I went so bad for everybody that we decided to turn back the clock. It's going to be 1189. We're going to start showing Forest Fair all over again and you could bid on this in the sealed bid auction. That is ha, ha, ha. So I like the Indeed. sound of that. Indeed. Now we'd better scurry before Richard finds Indeed. us. Indeed. I'm going to go show this to the Queen. Go on. All right. Let's go. Number two. Hey, no, 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 Robin, put that back. Come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, good. Yeah, my cousin, after all. Hey, Gumbo Gold. Yes, Robin Hood. Why is England one of the wettest countries? Why is that? Because the king has reigned for years. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Do your worst. Stupid king. Someone say they need to be rescued? No, Rowan, I don't need to be rescued. I, I've chipped my tooth and I need rescue foundation. Can you find me a form to fill out or something? That's right, the Renaissance Entertainer Services and Crafters United. That's the one. You know, the good people of Sherwood Forest Fair have generously donated to the rescue organization annually at the Rescue Rally. That's right, and I hear we're picking it up again this weekend for the 2020 rescue event. It didn't happen, it's happening for you on the magical line. Oh, oh, oh. that's right. So let us. Yes, let us. Have the annual rescue event online. With these good people. Yeah! 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 And if we're going to put that rescue event event together, we better get to work. Yeah, so I guess lunch is over. Robin Hood, I'm now ready to be rescued. That's right. The rescue organization helps entertainers, performers, and services. No, 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 they do United. all that. I'm talking about from the cage now. I really do need to be rescued. Now. <laughs> Very well. You are on the tolerance. <laughs> Very good. I'd like to get some more clothes on. A little more dressing to go with my salad. And Duke Richard. Well, we thank thee, Autologus. Mother, I would ask that you wield joyeuse, for we may have a knighting ceremony upon us. But first, I shall discuss this fine shield made of sturdy oak, wrapped in bronze, cornered with leather, with a fine handle on the inside for the surest of grips. This is the sturdiest of shields, my lords and lady. You will not be disappointed. If you are the highest bidder, this could be you. Good sir. Give him this cue. <laughs> sir, kneel. Look me in my eyes. In the name of St. George, and St. Michael, and St. Francis, I name you Knight of the Realm and winner of this bid. Hup, hup. Huzzah! Huzzah! Woo! <laughs> and that could be you. Remember, the bidding starts right now and lasts through midnight on Sunday. Bon Richard, I've been uh, practicing my sword and shield skills. Since you are one of the better knights of Europe, I'd see if you'd have a go. Better? Well, I've heard you're not very good at all, so uh, oh. I accept. Let's see what the good Lord has graced me with today. Are you ready? Always. I am a king. What was that? Uh, I heard your defenses were impregnable, uh, unlike your patrol. Oh, I have foiled 
Richard Ça va, Rotelion Oh Richard, this is a travesty. Surely the good Lord will grant me your mercy. Uh, you drew first blood, Philippe. And so I will draw the last. Oh! Oh, Richard! Surely there's something I can give you to stop this. There is one thing, Philippe. I will have an alliance with thee. An alliance? Against my father. Oh! A pact sealed in blood, Richard. You shall have a thought of my army. To King Henry's final days. Well ah. said, well said. Ah, I believe I can use a drink. I accept that too. Excellent. What's all your kids? Oh, Alistair Belfast. Oh, How may I help you? I heard you were collecting donations for the rescue rally. Oh, yes, indeed. Every little bit helps. What Here. have you got? Here. Wait a minute. There's a snail on this one. A snail? Hey, Autolycus! Yeah, Robin Hood? Why is it called the Dark Ages? Why is it called the Dark Ages? Because it's full of knights! <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel rallied. How about you, Lady Alice? Yes, indeed. We always have so much fun. And I'm glad we had our events after all. Be sure to find Rescue Foundation on Facebook, as well as Fundraising for Rescue, where the Friday Five auction will be held next week. That's Fundraising, the number four, then R-E-S-C-U, Rescue without an E. And now that the show's almost at an end, I'm going to send an email to rescuechampion at rescuefoundation.org to enter the silent bid auction before this Sunday at midnight. Then next weekend, it's the Friday Five, beginning at noon Eastern time. I think we'll close with a song this time. Alan and Dale, that's your cue! We'll catch all of you on the net. Kind friends and companions, come join me in rhyme. Let us lift up our voices in chorus with mine. Let us drink and be merry, oh drink to refrain. For we may or might never
Alice, what are you doing? Having a puppet show. But where are the puppets? Well, they're right here. What? Well, they're naked. Naked puppets? Oh dear! Goodbye. Oh,